What's up everybody? We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna is from the United States and I'm from Germany and we are in beautiful Greece for the very first time. Yeah. And in this video we're gonna try some amazing Greek food. Alright, so this next dish is a staple in Greece. You can find it all along the coast from the islands to the coastal areas and it's going to be grilled octopus which I'm super excited about. Let's eat. Grilled octopus is a very common dish in Greece. It is often served as an appetizer or a main dish. This one here was dressed with olive oil, seasoning, and lemon juice, and served with black-eyed peas and Phil's personal favorite, a potato. All right, here we go. First bite. Whoa, so this is really good. You can taste the olive oil, and it has a nice seasoning. I believe rosemary, oregano, and definitely this lemon flavor. Good, it's a nice grill, nice char going on. I like it. I don't know what you're eating, Phil. Uh, of course, let me try the potato first. It looks so yummy. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> potato. Mm. Spot on potato, and now for the side, the octopus. I think I never had octopus in my life. Um, it's very dense. Consistency, cutting through it, it has some chunk to it. Mm. Oh, it's very chewy, meaty, like seafood meaty. And then the outside smells very uh, barbecue-y, like has a nice aroma from the grill. It's awesome. The octopus is like an 8.5 out of 10. I give that a uh, 7.5. Mm. Taking more of my octopus. All right, so we ordered some fried snails and I never had them in my life. I think this is a specialty on Crete specifically and I have no idea how to eat them. You get a little stick with it. Snail, something that I usually don't Ah, that's how you do it. I'm a pro already. I'm not sure if I love it or hate it. You have to get over the mental hurdle a little bit. It's the exact consistency that you expect. It's very chewy in the end, like the part where they usually touch the ground with. I don't know if I can eat a half of this, but we shall see. All right, so these fried snails are very common. They're cooked in olive oil, vinegar, and rosemary, and you can smell the vinegar instantly. Let's see if I, oh, you're right. This is a struggle. I don't know how you get it out. Whoa. When in Rome or when on Crete. I really don't think it's that bad. I think it's okay. I kind of like mushy textures, like mushrooms are my thing. Tastes like olive oil and vinegar mostly with some gooey meat. <laughs> the carcasses. She likes it, I don't like it that much. I would give that a three out of 10. Six. All right, every time we go to a sit down place here, they often give you a dessert of some type of fruit or uh, like some cake or pastry or something. Also, Rocky, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Rocky, yeah. which is the local drink here on Crete. Here we go, bottoms up. Okay. It's a party. I'm not sure if this is just a Crete thing or if this is common throughout Greece. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Oftentimes we would get a complimentary dessert after our meal, which varied from fruit to cakes to syrupy pastries to delicious fried dough balls. And these desserts often came with rocky, which is an alcoholic drink made of twice distilled grapes and anise. And it is the national drink of both Crete and Turkey. Tiana's getting drunk. She's drinking that whole bottle. We're on holiday. All right, so another thing we really, really want to try um, is something that I never heard about. And it looks a bit like lasagna, but it's different. And it's called moussaka. And it's apparently one of Greek's absolute top dishes. Moussaka is a very popular dish throughout Greece. It's an eggplant or potato-based dish, usually including minced lamb, garlic, spices, and topped with a thick custard white sauce. It is baked and often served hot. All right, so now we're gonna try moussaka, which is a traditional dish throughout Greece, and it's baked usually, like a casserole. And it looks like lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they're in clay parts, sometimes it's a full-on casserole that we get a, like, a sliced cut of it, but this looks awesome. I'm just gonna go for it and give it a nice cut down the middle. It tends to be like family style at a lot of the places here. They give us small plates. Oh, look at that. Phil's gonna love the potatoes on this. Look at the steam, it's hot. <laughs> It smells really good. It looks and it's amazing. Really, really hot. <laughs> mm, I love eggplants. Aubergine, sorry for the British and Germans out there. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I feel like this would be like my uh, comfort food if I lived here, especially when it's a little colder, which it is a little colder today. Yeah, I love it. This is one I looked forward to the most. It looks like lasagna, but check it out. You have all these layers. You have a layer of potato, then you have some aubergine or eggplant and I really grew to love eggplants over the last couple of years and of course some cheese on top so it's 
probably a cousin of the Italian lasagna. There's no pasta in here. I don't know why he keeps saying lasagna. Well, it's a potato-based one. It's hot still. This one's actually super creamy. The top layer is the thickest, but it tastes amazing. I'm tearing up a bit from the heat. If you get a good one, that's a 9 out of 10 for me. I agree. It's absolutely one must try in Greece. All right, so the next thing we're going to eat is something that I recommend everybody to eat as much as you can while in Greece because it's one of the big staples and it's, of course, the pita gyros. I'm not even sure if they call it that here, but we're going to eat it. All right, I got one and they always look like this. They fill it up with fries. You know how in the US when we go to McDonald's, we put fries on a burger, we feel so clever. They do that here every time with all of their pitas. I had quite a lot of them, to be honest, since we arrived. This one's actually a little bit of a variation of it because this is not the standard gyros meat. This is a souvlaki. It's a stick, a skewer of chicken in there and it comes with onions on it, tomatoes, tzatziki, the meat, and always fries in this pita bread. And it's just, ooh. This is like the Greek equivalent of the döner. This is three euros, I had them for under three, and it's just good. Mm. Dude, it's hearty, it's heavy, it's the best. If you're looking for good bang for the buck, this is probably the best food that you can get here in Greece. A very good price license verhältnis all right, so we have lucumades, which is something that uh, I didn't know was a thing until we got here. It's like a donut. It's pretty much fried dough, which I love. It's usually served with honey and nuts on the top, but there's also variations with chocolate. We've also gotten it as a dessert afterwards, so like a free dessert. This shop specializes in it. According to Wiki, the earliest mention was from the ancient Greek literature, and they were called honey tokens that were given as small gifts to the victors of the Olympic Games. And uh, it's also popular in a lot of other countries as well. But uh, let's do the good stuff and just eat it. <laughs> oh, this is piping hot. He just made it. Mmm, this is my stuff. <laughs> it's so good. Wow, so much honey. All right, let's see. I'm not a big honey person, but I like it. The honey is sweet and then the nuts give it a nice contrast. I think I like the chocolate more. I just love chocolate. Fried dough with chocolate, awesome. Fried dough with honey and nuts, still pretty good. Let's keep the sweetness rolling as we move on to the incredible Greek bakeries. Oh, these bakeries were full of puff phyllo dough pastries covered with syrup or honey, yum! We visited Greece to celebrate my birthday and I had my choice of so many delicious cakes and sweet treats. I noticed that um, a lot of the desserts here have a lot of honey or syrup in it. It's very sweet and um, I'm not complaining. <laughs> there were also a good amount of savory items as well, like spanakopita and tiropita. All right, so we went to a bakery because every time I pass by it, I just want to order everything. And of course we ended up getting too much. I think this one, they called it a peasant spinach and cheese pie. It looks kind of like spanakopita or something similar. The flaky crust, I'm a peasant, I love it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think just spinach and cheese is the perfect combination. I got the peasant pizza slice. It looks like it was a round pie, ham and cheese peasant something slice. It's still a little bit warm. Mm. Very good. They, they love their blätter type here. What is it? The flaky bread style with yeah. the layers. I like this flaky bread type. One of my faves. We tried Kalisunia filled with Mazithra cheese, which is a small cheese filled snack that comes in various forms. Yummy! All right, so we have Kalitsunia, which is a Cretan dish here. It's another one, and it's this like puff pastry filled with cheese, local cheese here. And I was, I've been keeping an eye on this one. You can have it baked or fried, but this is a popular one I've seen on the menus as, a, as an appetizer or a bakery item. Oh, look at that! This one seems to be a fried one. It smells really good. I wish we had smell o vision here. Mm. Oh gosh. Holy smokes, <laughs> nine out of 10. I'm, I, I could eat all of these. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Quick try. Mm. This is my favorite one I tried here. Wow, it was awesome. Oh, let's not forget about the local wine because there are a lot of local vineyards here. Oh, and what not better to pair your wine with than some local cheese? 
There are a lot of goat and sheep milk cheeses around here, and if you look around the country or the island, there are a lot of goats and sheeps as well. They come in nice blocks to pair with your wine. There's a lot of good fried cheese appetizers, or you can get a nice cheese spread and drizzle some olive oil, lemon on a bread with a cheese spread. Mm, so good. All right, what I have in front of me here is called dolmades, and uh, these are stuffed vine leaves with rice. They actually derive from the Turkish word dolma, and they're very common around the Mediterranean Sea. We tried a canned version in our Trying Greek Snacks and Candy video, but these are warm and uh, they feel nice and fresh. I'm gonna just bite half here and see if I can show you the inside. Mm. So it's filled with rice, it's super herbal and nice and warm and I really like that this version is warm. Mm. So good, I think we have uh, Greek yogurt in here. Which is another must try when you're in Greece. <laughs> yeah, the Greek yogurt comes with these always, I noticed. Yeah, Greek yogurt. You just put some on here and then you have an amazing, nice, hot and warm snack. These are mine, sorry, you don't get any. <laughs> wow, okay, so it's no longer a wrap. Oh, I really liked this with the other video that we did, but these smell fresh. Whoa. It's awesome, isn't it? There's so much more flavor than um, the canned ones we had before. And I think Greek yogurt is a really nice touch. I could eat these all day. That is a very good 8.9 for me. And I'll give them a 9.2. <laughs> Since we were on the island of Crete, there are some Cretan dishes worth mentioning. A lot of Cretan cuisine consists of food derived from natural sources that are available, like olive oil, goat cheese, and honey-based food. Our first night, we had a paki, which is smoked pork meat, Phil obviously ordered a paki on potatoes, while I ordered a local pasta. All right, so here's some handmade pasta. It's a local Cretan pasta, which is skiofista, and then it's filled with apaki chunks, which is a, a type of pork cutlet here. It's so good. Yum, 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 yum. Also, I wanted to mention eggplants or aubergine variations. I love eggplants. My favorite dish in the world is a Chinese eggplant dish with minced pork, and I was pleasantly surprised to see so many eggplant variations in Greek dishes. All right, so we have sufficiently eaten our way through this island. This being our first time here in Greece, very fulfilling. So we're ending the food video while I'm eating another nice pita gyros, and this one's the actual one with the gyros meat. These are just so good, 290, can't go wrong with it. Yeah, let us know in the comments below what do you think about Greek food and which ones are your favorites. Yes, as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. A special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.